Hey everyone, it's Swather and I'm back for a new video. So this video, as you can probably tell by the title, is going to be a review of the newest Avengers movie, Avengers Infinity War. I watched this movie not too long ago in the cinema, so it's still fresh in my mind while also being long enough for me to be able to look back on it and think about it more, so it's not just, oh my god I'm just at the cinema, reaction to it. Obviously, it should go without saying, but spoiler warning, for this video for Avengers Infinity War. I'll try to keep them to a minimum, but there are going to be points where I'm going to have to discuss spoilers, so you've been warned. So, let's get to it. So in my opinion, the movie had very good pacing. Most movies will take time at the beginning to explain what's going on, where all the characters are, their situations and such, before getting into any of the main action of the movie. But not Infinity War, oh no. Right off the bat, Infinity War throws us right into the action. It, you know, obviously it starts not long after the ending of Thor Ragnarok, we see the ship that we're on. Almost everyone's dead. We see Thanos actually appearing in the flesh, so it's not just a case of saving him for the big reveal at the end or anything like that either. And the movie wastes no time making sure we know this is happening, the stakes are high, and they're going to have a lot of action. It also makes us very aware of, the, of just how dangerous Thanos actually is. Not just because he's trying to collect Infinity Stones, but as an actual character himself, he is also very powerful and dangerous. It manages to balance things like introducing all the different characters to each other, you know, the Guardians with the Avengers, and the, you know, the Avengers who've been gone with the, uh, people from Wakanda. It manages to merge all of that greatly without disturbing the pace of the actual film itself. And that's something that is quite a difficult thing when it comes to a big ensemble cast like this. So the movie managed to keep its pacing very well with all the characters and this, all the different plot threads that were going on and obviously the action itself. The characters in this film are phenomenal. Obviously we already knew pretty much all the cast anyway we know them from all their own movies, all the previous Avengers, all their solo films and everything like that, Guardians of the Galaxy, we knew them all so it's not like we need an introduction to them. But the way they were all used in this film was fantastic. There is obviously a big risk when it is a big ensemble cast, especially when they're coming from different genre of films, you know, like the Avengers meeting up with the Guardians, you know, and especially considering the Avengers and the Guardians being written by different people and, you know, different writing styles having to combine those characters into the one's film. It, it, it can be quite difficult. My main worry going into this film was Guardians of the Galaxy. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy, I love both their movies, but the type of film they have is a lot more light-hearted and comedy-driven than your generic Avenger movie. So, I was a bit worried how they were going to handle that, having the normal, very bantery and comedic Guardians meeting the Avengers, who, although they were also bantery and comedic, they weren't anywhere near the extent that the Guardians are. So I was a bit worried about that, but the movie managed to pull it off fantastically. The, the Guardians fit very well, in fact they fit perfectly, with the rest of the MCU characters. So there was no issues there, it didn't feel off, it didn't feel forced or anything like that. I think the reason it worked so well is because the first person from the rest of the MCU that the Guardians meet is Thor. Obviously Thor being from space, he's normally a bit of an outsider compared to the rest of the Avengers. But in the latest Thor movie, Ragnarok, it also took a more comedic turn from what it was like in the rest of the Avenger movies and his previous solo films. This change meant he had more in line with the Guardians, which really helped for when the Guardians met up with him, and it sort of bridged the gap between the Avengers and the Guardians for the audience. I mean, the audience could get used to seeing the Guardians, you know, interacting with an Avenger, so that when they, they met with the rest of the Avengers, it feels natural and it doesn't feel weird or different. And obviously, I need to talk about my favourite character, Spider-Man. Anyone who knows me knows I love Spider-Man. He's my favourite hero of all time. I play the games, I watch the movies, I watch TV shows, I cosplay as Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. And I absolutely loved Tom Holland's Spider-Man in Civil War and in Homecoming. So I was really excited to see him in Avengers Infinity War. And boy, 
I was not disappointed. If there was any doubt about how great his Spider-Man is, there isn't now. He is by far the best interpretation of Spider-Man that we've seen on the big screen. That's, it's just hands down, he is the best, especially after Infinity War. He d gives an outstanding performance constantly throughout the movie. Every scene he's in, he is outstanding. We see him really embracing the character, we see him living up to what he told Tony Stark in Civil War as his motivation for being Spider-Man. We see that as soon as the ship arrives in New York, he's jumping straight into action to help people, no matter what. No second thoughts, he's just jumping in, helping because he knows he has to. That's what he has to do. He is Spider-Man. We see him being awesome, we see him interacting with everyone, we see that he is able to stand on his own and come up with plans as well, so he manages to help save Doctor Strange uh, from the ship. I loved Thanos in this movie, he's not just your generic, I want to rule the universe type villain. His motivation is a lot better than that. He genuinely believes what he's doing is good. He, he believes he's saving the universe. And to do that, he has to wipe out half of all life so that there's enough resources to keep the universe going. And you can see how, you know, people who think that way, like him, could see it as being a noble cause. Obviously it's not, because it involves killing half the universe, but some people complain about his plan. They say if he gets him, why doesn't he just make more resources? But you're forgetting one thing. He's insane. He is Thanos. <laughs> He believes death is a mercy, he believes it's a good thing, and he's literally referred to in Guardians of the Galaxy as the mad Titan Thanos. Not the reasonable or sensible Titan Thanos, the mad Titan Thanos. So, there, that answers all your criticisms about his plan. Obviously, as a Marvel movie, we have to talk about the fight scenes because, come on, they're awesome in every movie. This one is no different. The fight scenes in this film are phenomenal. We get so many different types, we get them from, you know, Hulk smashing into Thanos at the very beginning, all the way to the big massive end fights, with Thanos fighting some of the Avengers and Guardians on his homeworld, where a massive army attacks Wakanda, we see so many things happening. And yet it's all paced perfectly, we get to see all the characters doing their bits, it doesn't feel like anyone's left out, and it is just fantastic. So, the ending. We need to talk about this. Now, if you're still watching this and you haven't seen the movie, why? I'm obviously talking about spoilers and here's the biggest spoilers, it's the end of the movie. So, go and watch the movie first and then come back here. Okay, you gone? Good. So, going into the film, I had a feeling Thanos would win in some way. I did not expect him to win so completely. He completely annihilated everyone, he wins a snap of a finger, he wipes out half the universe, and it was unexpected. It was expected, yet unexpected at the same time, and seeing so many of our beloved characters dying was heartbreaking, especially Spider-Man. Seeing him so young, so pl just pleading for his life with Tony Stark, saying he doesn't want to go, I was nearly crying in the cinema. And I think a lot of our people were too. <laughs> Even though we know that they'll be coming back in some way, somehow, it still manages to be impactful and emotional, and that's the brilliance of the movie. Thanos isn't your typical villain. He doesn't lord it over people. He doesn't go and roll with an iron fist afterwards. He, he finishes his plan, and then we see him going off, staring peacefully over his paradise. He's not there to rule over people or anything. He did what he had to do, and that's it. He's done. He doesn't care anymore. He's achieved his life's goal, and no matter what happens, the ending of this film is going to have massive repercussions for the rest of the MCU going forward. Nothing will be the same again. So this isn't exactly about the movie specifically, or part of the review. I just want to say thank you to the Marvel team for deciding to film and show Edinburgh. Because, yeah, I'm Scottish. <laughs> and it's great to get to see Scotland being not just filmed in, but actually shown as Scotland in the big movie like The Avengers. So yeah, it was amazing getting to see you know, Edinburgh Waverley Station and other streets from Edinburgh that I've walked up and I've seen myself. And Americans might not get it because you're used to it all films being set in America and 
your landmarks and stuff but for me it was great seeing my country on the big screen in a big blockbuster movie so that was amazing all in all this movie gets a 5 out of 5 for me I have no complaints with this film I loved it completely seeing all these awesome characters work together and fighting Thanos the ending of it the fight sequences pacing everything about it was phenomenal and I highly recommend watching this movie if you haven't already go see Avengers Infinity War. And I can't wait till it comes out on Blu-rays. I'll definitely be getting that and watching it about a dozen times in one day. <laughs> well, that's my review for Avengers Infinity War. If you agree with what I've said, or if you disagree, why don't you leave a comment down below and we can get a little bit of discussion going. Or we can just, you know, fangirl about Avengers, maybe talk about Tom Holland, Spider-Man. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.